Why did Patrick have to book today of all days for his tax seminar? Like, who voluntarily goes to a tax seminar? Maybe the kinds of people who want to keep their businesses? Hi. Can I help you? I'm looking for an extra towel. Okay. And this might be a stupid question considering the state of the rugs in our room, but do you have a business center here? Yes. We do have a business center. Okay. Uh, you can find it right outside the doors to your left, right beside the hammam spa. Would you like Thank me you. to book you a treatment while you're yeah, at just it? Just the towel. Thanks. Get those right out. Hi, um, question. If one were to theoretically look for a job here in Schitt's Creek, where would you suggest that that person go to look? Is there like a bulletin board or a pamphlet or something with information on it? Uh, no, no bulletin board. What kind of job are you looking for? Um, something in like art curating or trend forecasting. Okay, um, hmm, let's see. Not seen anything in art curating or trend forecasting. That's weird. Okay. Um, do you have any other skills or areas of expertise? Uh, I've been told I have really good taste. Oh, well, that's good. Um, Let's see. Oh, bag boy at the grocery store. I don't know what that is. You put groceries in bags so that people can carry their groceries out of the grocery store. Okay, and how much do you think that would pay? Mm, I'm gonna say minimum wage. Which is what, 40, 45 something an hour? Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Okay, um, well, something to think about for sure. So, an hour ago, I thought I was having a heart attack. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm not. Oh, um, phew. According to WebMD, I'm having a pulmonary embolism, which mm. is much, much worse. Well, you look good. That's just the way I look. I need you to take me to a hospital right now. Yeah, the only hospital's in Elmdale. You're telling me there's no doctor around here? People just drop dead in the streets out of sheer neglect? Uh, well, there is technically a doctor. Then please take me to that doctor right now. The cedar planks out behind the motel, are they being used for something or are they up for grabs? How do you know it's cedar? Um, I bought a clone once in Japan that's supposed to smell like the aftermath of a car crashing into a cedar tree. Why would anyone want to smell like that? Hmm? You know what? Never mind. Uh, the cedar is yours. Thank you so much. Um, if I may, what are you planning on doing with a pile of wood? Oh, um, a family of moths seem to have mistaken my cashmere sweaters for an Atlantic City all-you-can-eat buffet, and I plan on putting a stop to that. So I'm building a cedar chest for my nets. You're planning on building a cedar chest? That's correct. You are? You're gonna build it. It's a box, so you're just nailing some planks of wood together. Anyway, if you've seen the state of my sweaters, you'd know that I have very little choice in the matter. Okay, well, so don't let you. me stand in the way of your handiwork. Mm -hmm. you, may the force be with you. Hey. Has Paul Bunyan finished his box? Who? I am going to need some things for the chest. Like the number for a carpenter? Like a workbench, a miter saw, two bar clamps, and some dowels. Okay. Do you know how to use a miter saw? Um, no. Mud is out back and he's asked me to get these things for him. Um, we're building the chest together, so. Wow. This whole thing just got a lot weirder. Um, there's a tool shed out back, the other side of the motel. Okay. Will you be requiring a toolbox? Maybe. Um, let's go with yes, just to be safe. Um, will you be needing your basic toolbox or your cedar chest toolbox? Obviously the cedar chest toolbox. <laughs> oh, that's in the shed. It's a big wooden box with the words tools to make a cedar chest carved into okay. the side of it, so it's really clear. I'm assuming you're kidding, um, but in the off chance that you're not, where in the shed would I find that box? You're kidding. <laughs> wow, well, according to the internet, 
You were Mr. Popular. I will have you know that that headshot got me a two-episode arc on a TV series. What series? Dateline. I played a boy who got abducted from a grocery store. Wow. Yeah, and the performance was so riveting, people thought I actually was the Value Mart victim. Oof, bet that got you laid. So, I need to flesh out this games night thing between you and my sister and the barn guy and that girl in the restaurant. We have five, and obviously we need an even six for ultimate gameplay. Well, what if I'm not a games person? We're far too similar for you not to be, so... Options, please. Obviously, they need to be funny and smart and have a well-rounded sense of humor and a wide range of knowledge. Oh, all those types of people move away from here. That's funny. No, I'm serious. Oh, what about Eric? Hmm? He finished high school. I don't love his look. Oh, looks are important. Oh, why don't we throw a pageant? Trust me, if I had time, we would. But we don't, so. What about Sarah? She's cute and speaks English. Hmm? She'd get it. Get what? I get it, get it. It like the vibe. Understand that games night needs to run a certain way, otherwise it won't work. Can I be on your team? You sound really fun. No, no, no. What? Well, this can't be it. That's it. Can't you tell by how upscale the boutique is? Well, that's false advertising. I've been in this boutique and nothing about it is upscale. How did you being in this store ever happen? I was with Roland. We were shopping for Jocelyn. It's a long, frightening story. Anyway, we can't be here. We need to go. Why? What's the big deal? There is a solid chance I may have insulted the owner. That doesn't sound like something you'd do. She has very questionable taste. Hi. How much longer do you expect me to wait in the car like some hired chauffeur? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Like, drive home without you? Uh, no. Wendy has got me on a bit of a trial run with the customers, and I'm gonna need you to help me out by looking like you're enjoying this conversation a little more than you are. I'm also gonna need you to buy a couple blouses from me. A couple? One. A blouse. What about this? Well, that's not an option. That, no. But I have my sister's communion this weekend. Okay, don't do that. Don't do what? Don't do you not like that. it? Good recommendation, sir. This is also gonna be a smash at my husband's trial hearing. He's got good taste. Okay. <sighs> Can't tell what's more tragic, the fact that the only store in town is closing or that they've decided to display the fungal cream beside the cereal boxes. That's actually really convenient because I forgot to have breakfast and I'm running low on fungal cream. I don't want to hear you say fungal again. Fungal? Oh my God. Isn't it something? Huh? <laughs> I almost felt something was missing in here and then it occurred to me that a lot of family run businesses hang a portrait of the family in the workplace. Huh. Well, that reminds me, I've been meaning to have my family portrait airlifted in. Well, I know it's a little arresting at first, but uh, I think with time, you won't even know it's here. I don't think that's gonna happen. You don't look very happy in this. Well, it wasn't the style to look happy. The motivation was to look successful. You know, this used to hang in the great hall of our house. Oh, now this seems a little understated for a great hall. I'd look at it every morning. The family often wasn't all together back then, but uh, I could look at this and there we were. Well, you guys are together like all the time now, so who needs this, right? Well, that's true, but this happens to be one of the only possessions that wasn't sold off. Really? You'd think there'd be more of a market for oversized paintings of other people's families. Are we supposed to be doing anything for this party? Um, yes, decorations. But even if we could still afford Nate Burkus, I'd burn that bridge in Ibiza. Okay, but we have plenty of decorations here, so. Yeah, that are for sale. We're not just giving away our inventory. Wow. So what time is the ghost of Christmas past coming to visit you tonight? Now, is this look comfortable for you or uncomfortable? Uh, you dress for the job you want. So you want to be a youth pastor? Hi. Wow. While that joke was surprisingly sharp, these are Patrick's clothes. So you might want to tell that to my fiance's face. 